Hi, welcome back. Um, recently, I upgraded my Raspberry Pi with UPS um, and a uh, plastic container. So basically, I mounted um, UPS and Raspberry Pi on a cheap plastic container. So it's self-contained, easy to carry around and Ta-da! Yep, so it has um, power button and for the power and I connected those wires together so I'll just put in a screenshot of like where the pin goes but it was relatively easy to actually pretty straightforward to Put things together so let's see if it works and power and click As you can see, it ran. Not sure whether this is very visible from the screen. I just, but yep. Let me change the camera angle for best, better visibility so you can. Um, you can find out the battery information like current voltage, um, current power percent, like how much is left and obviously since it's UPS you can unplug the power. So no power now, it's only running on a battery. Um, then you can see the, the it draws more current and it, it it's like start spending the batteries so it's like 94% now and let's keep running and then that's what UPS is supposed to do and then I can plug that back in and you can immediately see the current is it's not drawing the current um, much um, from the battery and then now it's actually charging so it's slowly charging so UPS seems to be working which is good so next I will just quickly go through like what was required to get this going um to get this thing going so yep so the first thing to do is enable I2C so you can run this command Basically, it's really well documented on this page, um, so it's really easy to follow. And then you run, and then you enable it. Alternatively, if you're um, using Bookworm, then you can just go to Preference, Pi Configuration, and Interface, I2C, make sure that it is enabled if not you have to enable say okay and then you have to reboot and then you're good to go um, so then you need to connect the wires so basically this is the um, UPS module and then those are pins and you only need to connect um, the ground SDA and SCL um, and then you can easily find information about which pins are where but if you're too lazy basically those three pins are the only thing that you need to connect so I connected SCL to SCL SDA to SDA and ground to ground um, then when everything is connected together I mean make sure you do this 
when all the device is off. Um, I think that's what you're supposed to, but I don't know. So once you connect them up, reboot, um, then you can run the, uh, the script. Um, and then obviously it's running. Um, you can download the script from the um, website um, in the resources and sample demo. Then you can get the um, INA219. Um, one thing is that um, I had to um, change one line of the code to make it work for 3.11 because it doesn't have SMBus and then um, it, it apparently for 3.11 or I think anything higher than 3.7 or 8 you need to install SMBus 2 and then just import this SMBus and then it worked for me so yeah no problem so yeah that's how you run the the voltage information script so I'm in my car and here's my Raspberry Pi mounted in a very professional way so I'm gonna hit the record button and drive around and see what happens so basically I was driving around about 20 minutes and the battery went down by 10% as soon as I start driving um, fast I could tell the camera was pretty shaky but when I was driving slowly or stationary um, well it, the video was okay so I decided to run um, car plate detection with YOLO V8 and it worked okay in some cases but it was losing um, detection due to motion blur and camera shake and etc um, but that was just for a test and that was good enough so I was happy and that's about it today so thank you for watching